What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at an updated portable projector from Vankyo. This is the Leisure 410W. This is an updated 2020 model. This is something that Vankyo put some time into and just overall tweaked it from previous generations. We get a whole bunch of inputs here. We get HDMI, VGA, you get an SD card, a USB port. You also get Wi-Fi so you can do some screen mirroring if you're on iOS or Android. And we also get some speakers as well. But let's just go ahead and unbox it, check it out together, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this 410W projector from Vankyo. Inside the box, this is what we get, and I do have to give a shout out to Vankyo. They do give you a screen. They give you this portable screen that you can carry with you, and they also give you a nice carry bag as well. So a huge shout out to Vankyo for, for really making this portable projector fun to take with you. Inside, we get all the necessary cables and whatnot, so let's just take a look at what we get. Here's an HDMI cable. You also get your power cable right there. And here's your remote control. So you can go ahead and control the projector from the remote control. Some of the specs that you want to know, this is a native 720 projector, but it does support 1080p. You get a 2001 contrast ratio, and the lamp life is 5,000 hours. And then finally, we do have some hi-fi speakers in here, and it is Wi-Fi as well. So if you do have a phone that supports screen mirroring, you can go in and very easily share your screen onto a bigger screen. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it before we set it up and before I, before I show you what the quality is like. Here's your manual focus correction, so you can just slide this just like on any projector. And you have full controls on the top of it, so if your remote control runs out of batteries or whatnot, you can always control it from these buttons on the top. On the back, here's your keystone correction, here's your HDMI input, here's your IR receiver, AV, and headphones. So if you want to plug in some headphones, you can. It also does have speakers. You also get a VGA port, a USB, and then there's your standard SD card. And that's basically it when it comes to the projector. So let me just go ahead, turn it on, and I'm gonna give you some samples. We're gonna check out the fan noise, etc., etc. But this is turning out to be a very nice mini portable projector that you can take anywhere on game day, any given Sunday. This could be your companion. But let me go ahead, set it up, and I'll be right back. Screen mirroring is super simple on iOS. Just look for the Leisure 410W SSID. Screen mirroring comes in very handy, guys. If you want to project what's on your small iOS screen onto the big screen, this is the best way to do it. On Android, it's a little bit different. On Android, screen mirror definitely is not really supported on a lot of devices these days. But just go ahead, plug in a cable, and you can get that same effect. Or download a screen mirroring app, and you can get the same effect as well. Of course, a cable is where it's at. So I'm going to plug in my Chromecast, and we're going to check it out and see what it's all about when we're watching a movie. Now my screen is probably about, I'd say six feet away. So this is how I'm gonna test the projector right over here. You can see that I'm about six feet away and I will be sitting and placing the microphone on this couch. So just to give you guys a little bit of context of what the sound is like coming from the fan, So we start with the copper plate, as they said, you put that at the bottom, and then we add the sawdust. Okay, what does the sawdust do? That's why I mean it had a flavor uh, of, uh, of a political action. Well, but subsequently, I don't disagree with the notion that Congress needs to be in the business of spending. We've been looking forward to floating, but we've been thinking about floating in space, not floating on the stock market. We need to operate from a place of courage. The biggest threat to the Bay Area is that you start only building things and solving problems for people like you. And while that will create a lot of innovation, it's not enough. Here, This is a company called Strapco, and they send me these bands over for review. They have bands for a bunch of different devices. So no matter if you have a 20 millimeter, 24, or even a Fitbit, they have some replacement bands. Check my link down below if you're interested in purchasing them. But quite honestly, I don't know why I spent over twice as much for the original Garmin band, because you can't really tell the difference at all.
scout. Look at these little guys I found. They were sick, but I nursed them back to full health. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we still got it. Category, social studies. You know what? Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> Thank God you can sing and I can tell jokes. <laughs> no. Today on Kelly. Maybe I should tell you now. So that's been a look at the quality of the Vankyo 410W upgraded for 2020 and I really like the upgrades that they've done, mainly the speakers, the speaker quality has been improved and they're some of the loudest speakers that I've heard on a mini portable projector so a thumbs up to Vankyo for that. I thought the image quality was really good as well, even with lights on you, you can clearly still see what's being projected. I like all the inputs and again you can connect an external speaker if you want to. If you really want to improve your, your speaker game you can go ahead and connect it but I thought that the I thought that the speakers on the Vankyo 410W did a very nice job and I like the image quality as well. It's just a very nice portable projector that you can take with you anywhere that you want to go, whether that's outdoors, whether that's to your backyard, whether that's just to your man cave to watch the game. This is a great projector for you. But let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. I always appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.